Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is Cauldron Battle for Gazella. Uh, it's one of the folio game series from Decision Games. My friend is uh, moving to another state, so he had a garage sale, which was all miniatures and uh, games and stuff. So I bought this from him for five bucks. I haven't even looked through it yet, so I don't even know if it's punched or not, but let's see. I'm not expecting a whole lot for five dollars. The Battle of Gazella in May 1942 was arguably Rommel's most daring feat of generalship. British 8th Army had reached the limits of its supply line, but had heavily fortified the front from the Libyan coastal village of Gazella to the desolate outpost of Burr Hatchem, nearly 50 windswept miles to the south. The ever-resourceful Rommel, however, simply led the Africa Corps still deeper into the desert, going around Burr Hatchman. Once behind the Allied defenses, the Panzers became a threat to the overall Allied position. British tank units were immediately ordered to counterattack Rommel's Panzers, resulting in one of the largest tank engagements of the Desert War and a barren tract of desert that became known as the Cauldron. And it looks like it uses the fire and movement system. Alrighty. So it's for two players. Regimental level hex scale, each hex is two miles, playing time one to two hours, complexity low, solitaire suitability is high. So let's see what's in here and let's see if it's punched or not. When you see a game like this going for five bucks, you just buy it, you don't even look at it. I mean, uh, before someone else buys it. Oh, it's unpunched, that's awesome. Something else is in here. Oh, that's part of the folio there. Okay. So I guess I should show you how the folio is. I usually just pull the stuff out, but it's actually a folder inside. Which is kind of neat. Alright, let's take a look at the counters while they're out. Counters are so-so. Uh, just NATO military symbols. Look like they're half-inch counters. Get some artillery here. Uh, usually with the with the fire and movement system, uh, the artillery you like spend it during combat. You get a, a number of artillery for the turn, and you try to spend uh, as many as you're allowed to per turn. Um, and your uh, opponent, the uh, defender, can too. So it's like air support and artillery support. That, that's basic. Uh, how should we say g gimmick or mechanism behind the fire and movement system? All right, got a bag for holding components. See the map. All right, desert map. Looks like there's a lot of minefields here. These are all minefields. Interesting. And up here's a turn turn track and terrain key. I mean, it looks alright for a folio game. This ain't bad. One of the best things about this is I didn't have to pay any shipping. It's always nice when you get to buy the games in per person and you don't have to spend big bucks on shipping. Alright. So it looks like this one has standard rules and scenario rules. Decision Games is big into that. Uh, SBI did that too on, on some of their games. So let's look at the standard rules. If you've seen any of my videos on any of these other uh, fire and movement ones, you uh, just skip ahead in the video. Uh, it's the exact same uh, standard rules. So here's a sequence of play. We'll just go over that real quick. Uh, you have a movement phase and then the combat phase. And then mobile movement and mobile combat. And it's going over uh, zone of controls, movement, uh, effects on movement, effects of terrain, stacking restrictions, more on zones of control, and support fire. That's the claim to fame for the full, for the the fire and movement system, rather. And on the back here is a combat results table and an island war combat results table, but that doesn't necessarily mean this game uses those. It might have some. Let's look at the scenario rules. Does it, yeah, the scenario rules have a different combat results table instead, so you would use that one. 
scenario rules look pretty short. It's going over the reinforcement schedule here and what's in it. Lines of communication. Enemy minefields, fortified boxes, going over the Tobruk airfield, and then the scenarios here. Looks like it's just one scenario, which is all I expected. Hey, I'm not bad for a little game. I mean, this is like 1995, or maybe it's 24.95. I think they uh, increased their prices, but it doesn't look bad for a 20 or 25 dollar game. I'm just happy that I got it for. Uh, a reasonable even lower price thanks for watching and if you liked the video please click like on it and if you've tried this definitely chime in and let us know how you liked it and as always have a good evening